everybody, it's Sarah. Today we're going to draw some cards for Cancer Natives. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising in Cancer. We're looking at the energy, challenges, and all the good things happening for Cancer Natives in March of 2024. So I'm going to shuffle these cards and then we're going to pull the first card, which will be where you're likely to be at the beginning of the month. Now Cancer's had some ups and downs, but so far 2024 is much better than 2023 was and things are improving every day almost for cancer natives so let's pull the first card oh nice new location and this is really not a big surprise cancer you've been ready to move you've been wanting to move you've been ready to settle into the next chapter of your life and it looks like that's what you're going to be doing around the first of the month whether you're apartment hunting or house hunting or whether you're actually moving in physically this is definitely something that's going to be the focus for the entire month and especially around the first uh, couple of days to the first week of march okay and the next card will be your biggest obstacle for the month, because let's get that out of the way, okay? <laughs> okay, this was the second of the two cards that fell out just a second ago, and it is Stand Your Ground. So your biggest obstacle will be standing firm and not letting other people push you into something you don't want to do or surrendering control to someone else. You may have to stand up for yourself and your convictions this month. This is something that many people struggle with and you may feel uncomfortable doing this because you may have to confront someone who's trying to bulldoze over you. But you have the courage and strength, Cancer, that you need. Most people don't understand the strength it takes to be a Cancer native, but you have endured so much and you still have such a kind loving heart and you always try and see the best in people this takes a huge amount of courage and inner strength so you can definitely do this this will probably be just a minor irritation rather than something that's going to be upsetting all month long okay but still it will be an obstacle it feels to me like it likely will be around either work or a personal relationship. But let's draw another card and see if we can get some more insight about where this obstacle will be taking place. So this card's going to be what part of your life this obstacle will likely appear. Yep, in relationships or with your romantic partner. So stand your ground and stick to your core values and beliefs and don't let anyone force you into doing anything you don't want to do. All right, so let me shuffle and we're going to draw the next card because we're already into relationships. Let's look at your love life. And this will be for both single and partnered cancer natives. Okay, we've got two cards here. And yes, your romantic outlook is complicated. <laughs> As if that was a big shock, right? So the cards are magic of nature and kindness. This is the way I see this. For partnered or committed cancer natives, you may have, uh, I don't know, maybe a disagreement. Maybe nothing has really happened, but suddenly you feel kind of disconnected or cut off from your partner. And it may even seem like they're pulling away from you. When you feel disconnected, you may feel sad, depressed, upset, or just generally not well without really knowing what's going on or why you're feeling the way you do. So rather than be angry with your partner, come from a place of kindness and recognize this, that you are feeling disconnected. So what can you do to reconnect? Well, one suggestion would be to spend time together, weather permitting, and plan something in nature that you can do together. Whether it's taking a walk, having a picnic, or visiting a place in nature that has a special meaning for both of you. This will help you reconnect and soon you'll be back in sync. So this is just a momentary bump in the road for the month of March where you may feel disconnected, but you know, just give the relationship some attention and I think that, yeah, you'll reconnect and things will be fine. For single cancer natives, spending time with friends may lead to an exciting meeting. Uh-huh. You are the center of attention in March and you're attracting admirers and even some unwanted attention from an ex. So be kind, but firm. The relationship ended for a reason and giving it yet one more try <laughs> will only end up with more heartache. You go through this cycle of getting together and splitting up and getting together and splitting up. So yeah. 
at this point, I would say, why not give somebody else a try? Whether you're meeting somebody for coffee or maybe a, an actual date, go out and have some fun and see if you still are tempted to go back, back with your ex after that. It feels like you have really shut the door on dating anyone else. Why not investigate that and, and see if, if things will shift if you are open to actually, you know, even talking to somebody new. It's going to be an interesting month all the way around because things are going good, but it's just going to speed up a lot and you're going to feel like you don't have enough time to get everything done. And you're probably moving. You could be changing jobs or starting a new job. And yeah, lots happening for you. So how about we draw another card for your health outlook? Ah, nice. Higher consciousness. This month we have Pisces season ending and Aries starting, which is kind of a great month because we have the planning, inspiration, intuition about the first half of the month with the Pisces energy. And then the Aries energy is that fiery energy of getting stuff done. So this could be a really good month for you to really knock out projects and move forward. But you have to be feeling good, right? So with this card, Higher Consciousness, this month will definitely be a time when you're going to be feeling more spiritual. So this, of course, is a great time to book a Reiki session, <laughs> have a card reading, or take a class on practical magic. Do something that will definitely lift your consciousness. And you can do this also by reading spiritual books or taking classes or listening to podcasts or videos even. You'll be inspired as you raise your consciousness and you'll feel better and you'll also feel more like the old you prior to some of these breakups. So yeah, this is a this is a really good thing. Okay, now let's look at your financial sector. Will you have the money to take those classes? All right, look at this card. This is what we like to see. You're in the flow now and money is coming forward. It feels like February was a pretty good month for you, but March is going to be much better. So enjoy this, but don't forget to set up a budget. You're going to have extra expenses if you are moving. You want to make sure you do have the money to get the things that you need for your new place and that you have the money to, you know, buy some nice little gifts for friends and to do some things like take those classes or go on those picnics or go on those little mini weekend getaways. So just set up a budget and you'll be fine. This is um, a really good creative time for you too. I think that, yeah, you're probably going to spend a little bit of money on hobby projects and things like that. And that's fine. That's fine. Just make sure that you do enjoy some of this money and that it doesn't all just go out on bills. One more card. We'll draw the card for where you're likely to be at the end of the month. And so far, this has been a pretty good reading, Cancer. One of the better readings for you in a very long time. I haven't been doing very many card readings lately because I've been really busy at work, but also because it's kind of just been more of the same for most of the signs, you know, more of the same, more of the same. So it's really not interesting and there's nothing really helpful or not any big messages that you need to hear. So it's nice to see that the energy is shifting and especially in your favor. So let's draw the last card where you're likely to be at the end of the month. Oh, interesting. Trust your intuition. So while your intuition is strong this month, you're probably still going to struggle with what to do with the information. So take a break. And at the end of the month, review everything that's happened in the last three months. What's happened since the beginning of the year and decide where you want to go from here with this information. In other words, what's working? What do you want more of? And what do you kind of need to maybe reframe or adjust that's not working? Trust your intuition and plan for a great year ahead. And trusting your intuition sounds really positive and nice, doesn't it? But if you're kind of lost and don't really know what to do, it's okay. If you haven't been using your intuition, it can be a struggle to tap back into it. So one easy way would be to grab your Oracle deck and shuffle it. Think about what you need to know in the next coming week. Shuffle the cards, pull out three of them randomly, and see how they fit your particular situation. And then trust your intuition on what the cards mean. And yeah, I think the more you practice this too, especially in the month of March, the easier it will be to connect with spirit, your spirit guides, your angels, and to get the messages. So yeah, each, each time 
you work on your intuition or work on your abilities, you're moving that much closer to mastering them. So it may take three or four tries before it's easy, but just keep working with it, okay? I think that, yeah, this has been a really good reading for you. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that you enjoy the month of March. It looks like it's going to go fast, but it's going to be full of lots of nice things for a change for you, Cancer. So woohoo! <laughs> Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this mini reading. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and becoming community or patron members. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to try and do several more tarot readings before the end of the month, but I am still traveling. So if you are in England and you would like to take a class with me or book a session, hey, hit me up because I'm just around the corner. <laughs> okay, I'll see you for the next video. Reiki blessings.